iBooks is Apple's e-reader. Digital books can be purchased, downloaded, and read inside of iBooks. So let's take a look at the app. There are two ways to view it. We have the nice bookshelf, or you can view it as a list, but let's keep it on the bookshelf. Let's say we wanted to get rid of something. So you could hit Edit, and then we could select one, and hit Delete, and it says, are you sure, basically? I hit Delete, and it's gone. So you can get rid of books that you're not using currently. If we tap on Collections, tap, you'll notice there's choices between PDFs and books. These are all PDF documents. They're still searchable, and they still have some interactivity. If we go to Books, then it's things that are actually coming from the iBookstore in the EPUB format, so they're much more interactive. So let's take a look at one of those. Click for Art History, and you can browse through the pages. These are some samples I downloaded just to show you. And uh, when we're on the pages, uh, one of the good things about this is that you can uh, customize it in several ways. Now, normally you would go to the Settings app, the Settings app to make it brighter or less bright. But when you're reading, you're going to be reading under different lighting conditions. So Apple has made it helpful. You click on this little sunshine icon right here. And then you can adjust the brightness of your screen. Very bright, less bright. Right? So different lighting conditions, that makes it more optimal. And then this thing with the little font, the little A's, you can see you can make it larger. Let's just do that. And you can make it smaller. You can change the font in here. So we change the appearance of the book, just like that. Uh, sepia, on or off, off, white. I like sepia. Books are also searchable. I click the little magnifying glass icon to get the search, and I'll do Greek art. And it's searching, and I get several searches. I could search Google, right? So if I find a concept in here, I could search Google and go outside or search Wikipedia and get more information about the concept or find out what it is. Otherwise, I can just search for it and say, now, where was, this, where was the chapter about Greek art? And it's as simple as going here, and it takes me to... Uh, the first instance of, of, of Greek art here. And you can see there's many more choices here. So we can go to page 84, and there it is, underlined and showing you where it is. Now let's say there's a particular paragraph that's pretty interesting and you want to remember it for later. Press and hold, and we get these little handles here, and we're going to select this whole paragraph. Now, you'll notice there's some different choices here inside of iBooks. So uh, search, note, highlight. Let's do highlight. Highlight click, and there it is highlighted with a yellow marker, right? So we can go back and look through all our highlights and get all the important paragraphs that, you know, we wanted to, to take note of. Besides highlighting, you can also bookmark a page. Click on this icon right here, click, and we add a bookmarker to this page. Then this is marked so we can refer to it later. So how do we get to the pages that we've bookmarked? We go to this icon right here, this little list looking thing, and this takes us to the table of contents, table of contents uh, in the book. And then you'll notice there's another category besides table of contents, we have bookmarks. So we can click here and then we can see all of our bookmarks. I can click on the bookmark and it'll take me right to the page that I bookmarked. Now let's uh, go back to the library. And the last thing is you can go to the store within iBooks. And here's the front page of the store where you can purchase eBooks and uh, search for them and uh, view by category and browse. So that is iBooks.